It's day two of the Lionesses Daily. It's 5 p.m. It's beautiful here in Nice. Do you want some more Lionesses goss? Thought so. Run titles. Day two of Lionesses Daily, and I'm here with the one and only Tony Duggan. Hello, Tony. Welcome to the show. Firstly, our set is pretty cool, isn't it? It's amazing. I thought we were actually our first going in the car. I was ready for like carpool. Well, karaoke. I can't drive, which is kind of <laughs> embarrassing. So you'd have to drive for that one. But no, we are here. But it's lovely, isn't it? And the yeah, sun amazing. is shining here in Nice. It's quite Barcelona-esque, isn't it? Like it what is, I did there. It is. Mm. A little bit of tapas, a bit so, of sangria, oh. sin alcohol. <laughs> Without alcohol. Yeah, for the kids. <laughs> uh, the World Cup is finally upon us. You must be itching to get started. So how have the first few days here been? Yeah, it's been nice. Always nice when the weather's like this. I'm kind of used to it now. A couple of the girls have probably burnt already. Yeah. Tan lines. Um, but no, yeah, really nice. I like the city. I think I've actually come here on holiday. Yeah, nice place. Lovely. And who is your roommate? And I always wonder this, how does this all work? Do you stay together the whole time? Yeah, mine's Mary, so I call her Mips. That's a nickname. Yes. I give her it, it's stuck. Mm. Um, but yeah, she's a great roommate and she'll definitely be tuning in to watch this because she's always waiting for a little shout out or <laughs> something along the lines. She said she wasted three and a half minutes watching one of my interviews the other day because she didn't get a shout out. So <laughs> Mips, this one's for you. How has it decided who you room with? Um, it's different with different managers in the past. They've kind of just put you with someone or you've kind of stayed with that someone. But now feels a bit more like who you're comfortable with. Okay. We didn't really do... Oh, actually we did. We got an email sent out and it was like three people that you'd like be comfortable mm. with rooming with. So mine was Abby, Nikita and Mip. So Mip's got the lucky... Um, she got the luck the of the draw. <laughs> yeah, she got the call up. Um, but yeah. Okay, dish the dirt here. What is Mary's worst habit? Because you must see everything, right? She's messy. Is she? She's messy. She's clean, but mm -hmm. she's messy. And I'm stamping down on it this trip. <laughs> I've, I've been on her back. We've had two little rows in the room <laughs> over being messy. Only gentle ones, don't worry. <laughs> so in Canada, you did the Irish dancing when you won bronze. In the Euros, you did that lovely celebration for your boyfriend. What have you got in store for us here? Um, not and yeah. Not have you not? Yet. It kind of picks up as the tournament goes. Okay. And just um, also at the World Cup, we had the cowboy hats as well. Yep. And, so yeah, I don't know. Let's see what happens. I'm intrigued to see myself. Do you think about it in advance? No, no. no. It was just my boyfriend was at that game. It was my 50th cap and I'd done a tea, which was quite cute. Um, well, it makes me feel a bit sick now. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, cute. No, he liked it, to be fair. Yeah, and then the cowboys kind of picked up because the families went on a little cowboy night one night oh. doing all the line dancing and all that. So we had all the hats. Yeah, it was a bit random. And looking back now, everyone's like, why have you got a cowboy hat yeah, on the yeah, pictures? Yeah. But me, Raph and um, Carly had a great time, so. Why don't we ask the fans to send in their ideas for your celebrations? What do you think about that? Yeah, let's do it. It's got to be relevant though, like yeah. maybe something to do with France or who we're playing or, yeah. yeah. I think some of them on the plane are probably coming up with their ideas now. So send in your celebrations that you think Tony should do if hopefully she gets on the score I'm sheet. I'm not the best dancer and I'm not the best singer, but I'm <laughs> up for anything. I'll still do it. Not the best singer, so no Celine Dion, please. <laughs> uh, right, fancy being the next Tony Duggan, then you might want to keep an eye out on this next segment. So we went out and filmed with some of our younger lionesses, Maz Pacheco and Megan Finnegan, to show you how to. Hi, I'm Maz Pacheco, and this is How To. Beating your opponent by dropping the shoulder. Step one, drive at your opponent at pace. Step two, when you're close enough to your opponent, drop your shoulder in one direction. Step three, push off in the opposite direction and leave your defender for dust. <laughs> Beating your defender by dropping the shoulder. Completed it. <laughs> Why not try those moves at home and send us your best clips and we'll put them in the show in the next few weeks. Now with the magic of TV and the bright sun here in Nice, I really hope this works. Tony, hopefully you have an England legend there in front of you, Michael Owen. Is he here? Hey Michael. Hi Tony, how are you? I'm good, thanks. All the better for seeing you, a little surprise. 
No, oh, lovely. Last time I saw you was in an airport, I think. I know, yeah, I think you'd have to do a little commercial in um, Hong Kong or somewhere. <laughs> That's right, yeah. And I actually, when um, when you played in the Euros a, a, a year or two ago in, in Holland, I was I was there on the side of the pitch watching. I think that was against Scotland as well. Oh yeah, I remember. I do remember you seeing there. Um, yeah. Are you coming out? You coming out this time? Got another I don't commercial. think I am unless I get invited. <laughs> Is that an offer commercial? of tickets? <laughs> yeah, we can we can sort them. We can sort them. Yeah. <laughs> so it's Scotland first up. What do you think about that one? Oh, it's going to be a tough game. I know in the Euros when you was there we. Um, won the game convincingly, but I think it's going to be different. They had a few injuries that game and we got a few key players back, so it's going to be a tough one, but I think the girls are ready for it, you know, like England, Scotland, we're ready. Tell me about the opposition in terms of generally in the in the tournament. Who are the teams that, you know, are, are stronger than others, let's say? Um, I think Germany and USA are always going to be there. USA are obviously won the tournament a few times now and they just have that mentality, you know, just that winner mentality, get over the line, so... Be difficult, but you know we won the She Believes tournament this year and faced tough, tough opposition there: Japan, USA, and Brazil. So the girls are feeling confident. Um, actually, I've got a question for you. We've got Argentina okay. in the group in the second game, and you know some stuff about that. So any tips on how we're gonna score? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, as a centre forward yourself, yeah, I mean it was uh, a long, long time ago. What is it? 20, 21 years oh ago? Oh my God! I think it was really? Now. Wow. Um, but it was funny in that game, in the first sort of few minutes, I ran at the Argentinian defence and won a penalty. Yeah, yeah. And I think that probably scared the life out of them because the next time I got the ball and lifted my head up, their centre-half, who was quite famous at the time, yeah, Ayala, he was uh, he had dropped right off. So he ended up being a sitting duck. I built <laughs> up a lot of uh, momentum and, and managed to get past him. But I'm sure you'll be scoring a few goals. And talking of goals then, have you got the, uh, the golden boot? In the corner of your eye, or is it a bit too early for that? Oh, I don't know about that. I think Ellen White or jo Jodie Taylor will be trying to fight me for that one. But um, I play on the left for England usually, so if I can assist a couple and get a couple, then I'll be happy. I actually haven't scored the World Cup. This is my second World Cup, so I'd love to get on the score sheet, definitely, yeah. OK, well, great to speak to you, Tony, and uh, good luck. I'll be watching. I'm sure millions of people back home will be watching as well so good luck I'll catch you soon oh thank you so much it was lovely to speak to you again Tony that must be amazing to hear from your hero Michael Owen oh that was amazing lovely little surprise as well you know I've followed him playing for Liverpool and England throughout his career when I was younger he was literally my idol so a little surprise there and yeah really nice to have a chat with Michael Owen right Tony I'm going to put you on the spot right now tell us something that we don't know about you oh my God. pressure my name used to be Horton the same as Steph, spelt really? exactly the same, yeah. And I changed it. My family name used to be Horton, and my mum changed my name to be named after her. So, yeah, it was spelt exactly the same. So, at this World Cup, we could have had T. Houghton and Steph S. Houghton. Ah, oh, that's actually really interesting. Well done, because that is hard on the spot. Well, here are five more things that you might not know about Georgia Stanway. Georgia, but you could literally be her twin. You look so alike. Right, yesterday we announced that the Lionesses will be back playing at Wembley Stadium. And throughout the tournament here on Lionesses Daily, we'll be giving you the chance to win money can't buy prizes thanks to the Lionesses Supporters Club. Now, first up is a chance to go pitch side and watch the Lionesses warm up at Wembley ahead of the game in November. You'll be so close, you can almost smell them, but don't do that because again, yeah, a little bit weird. So there'll be three winners, each one can bring a friend and it's so easy to enter. All you've got to do is go to the link on the screen and answer a very simple question. Good luck and we'll announce the winners ahead of the game against Scotland on Sunday. 
Right, that is all we have time for, Tony. Thank you oh. so much for joining us on the show. I hope you've had fun. Yeah, I have, and I'll definitely be back to see you soon. Lovely. Now, if I could get you to stand up for us, and would you do us the honour? So Phil and Steph have already signed the car, the bonnet. Oh, I thought it was your top. <laughs> that would be so funny if you just signed my top and I was like, oh, I've got to wear this for the next few days. <laughs> no, the car to me. Oh, this oh. is cool. Yeah, so Phil and Steph have already done it. Right, we had Carly Telford finishing the show for us yesterday. You pick who's going to end it for us today. Oh pick my anyone. God. Um, I'm going to pick Abby McManus. Boom, okay, here is Abby McManus and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Abby McManus, I'm a lioness. To be a lioness, it means everything to me. It definitely fulfills me with all the hard work that we put in and it definitely does make me happy to be a lioness. The three behaviours I think the lionesses should live by is hard work, humble and always smile. On the pitch, I expect my teammates to give absolutely everything. I expect them to be a team player and I also expect them to enjoy the time on the pitch. The support from the nation will definitely help the Lionesses get behind us and hopefully be the 12th player on the pitch. For me to play at a World Cup, it will be an unbelievable experience for myself and it will also make my family really proud.